Welcome to Rummin with Rumsey, episode two, presented by Swimlane and Milani and Benny. Come here. Milani and me Benny. I have two dogs now. Marketing asked me to pop into the new Swimlane corporate headquarters. So I took a visit with my boys and uh, decided to be the most unbearable employee imaginable and take a look at our physical security controls. What's first on the list? All right, number one, badge access system governs all key card access required for points of entry. New headquarter, one point of entry. We got one main door. Let's take a look at the footage. Trying to get in the door. Can't get in the door without the key card. Swipe the card. My key card is, uh, it's valid. All key cards tied to corporate identities. I'm gonna call that check and say yes. All right, number two. Visitors must sign in with the office front desk and provide their ID. Take a look, signing in. My boys let their dad sign in for them. Risk-based approach. They don't have IDs because they're dogs. We let that one slide with a minor exception. Next requirement. Server room access is restricted to the IT enterprise team. As videoed, my boys were trying to get into the server room. Again, we don't have customer data in there, but we got some other stuff. They could not get in. One, because they cannot reach the handle because they are small boys. And two, because that server room is restricted with the key card system. Special entry. Badge usage is monitored by the security operations center. A little bit of an overkill requirement for a uh, corporate HQ, but we are a security automation company. And we do indeed have a playbook for that. Let's take a look. Yeah, all, all entries are monitored. I'm going to say we got that. I'm going to give that a check. All right, next couple of requirements, not videoed because they're more of a long-term control, but let's talk about them anyway. So you say badge access is revoked as part of the employee contractor termination process. That's easy. I think we have a process for that. You know, upon termination, we've got badge access as a line item that's tied to the corporate identity. So... All access just gets turned off. Badge access is reviewed on a monthly basis. We look at prior termination on a monthly basis, and I love that for us. I'm going to say we got boom, boom. We got both of those requirements not videoed. Let's move on. Not in the footage. Worth mentioning surveillance cameras. You know, we got two sets. We got our office partners got cameras. We got a camera just in the main entry. Not trying to go overkill, not trying to invade anyone's privacy, just more of a reactive control, seeing who comes in and out just in case something were to happen. We got that. All right, last uh, two. Clean desk and clear screen policy. What does that mean? Don't leave passwords on a post-it note because people do that. Don't do that. Uh, lock your workstation when you get up. You got to do that. I mean, it, there could be five people in there, but you got to do that. That's what our policy says. So got a little lax towards the end of the day. The boys kind of started getting into everyone's business. Some minor infractions there, but we're ooh, we're a shop all about continuous improvement. So if um, people could just turn their, their systems off when they leave their desk, that'd be great. I'd say, you know, for, uh, but... For a first time visit, we got most of the requirements, um, minor infraction at the IDs, minor infraction with the uh, clear screen policy. So it's, it's, it's my job to, you know, call it like I see it. Give up. Get, I'll give us a an A minus. It's all we can ask for. There's two. There's two dogs. That concludes Rummin' with Rums uh, episode two. Check out Swimlane on LinkedIn.com and uh, welcome, welcome Swimlane to downtown Denver. Excited to be part of the vibrant um, community of, of downtown Denver.